that the fucking thing? <laughs> Gable grip, baby. Hey, man, so I'm changing this. It's going to be now the Gable grip. If you know, you know, right? If you know, you know. So that's a new thing. We've evolved. <laughs> Welcome to Open Mac Chronicles 1865 Rod here. So <laughs> how are you guys doing? Man? Hopefully everybody's doing well. We got Schaefer in the house as always. We're coming back at you guys. What's up, the- everybody? Schaefer in the house. What's going on? Everybody should know the Gable grip. If you wrestle, if you do jujitsu, you probably know the Gable grip. I just grip. like this, man. I like. I think I'm going to just do this now. But you know what's funny? We were talking about the OK grip. How many of you guys know the OK nah. grip? Well, see, it's not even called that for everybody. I do the OK grip, um, and that's what I was calling it. For demonstration it. purposes? Yeah, so I'm like, like, you're doing this little A-OK, and it, like, you're looking through your finger, and if you're looking at your thumb and you bring them together – and then lace your hands. Actually you actually grip. get a really, really good grip. I think it's I think it's better than the gable grip for for chokes and things like that. Yeah. I can put more pressure in on chokes if I do that grip. If you're doing these types of chokes, it's yeah. great. Yeah, I'll say you can you can closer. bring your elbows closer together. Why? Look, I don't know. I don't know why. It's weird. But some if you kind do of, a gable grip, some kind of science or something. If you do a gable grip, your hands they still go. Uh-huh. But it's they harder. get close. But if you do the OK grip, they touch. It's that. crazy. That's with bad shoulders. Yeah, I'm telling. Look. It's weird. It has something to do with either science or magic. I'm not sure which it is, but it works. It works. So what are we talking about today? I know what we're talking about today. Let me tell them what we're talking about today. Yeah, we're just kind of <laughs> talking about like how, how jiu-jitsu will, will change you. Ultimately, it does change you. Some are good. Some things are not so good. But I think definitely the good outweighs the bad. Right. Right? There's a lot of positives. Otherwise, we wouldn't be doing jiu-jitsu for, you know, over, you know, Fuck, years, and years and years and years and years and years. So... What do you think? You want to kick it off? Yeah. Talk about yeah. Like- so, I mean, we, we had discussed how you'll never be the same again oh, once, yeah. you, once you start this. It's, it's going to be ridiculous. Um, and you're right. It's going to be in some positive ways, and it's going to be in some maybe not so positive ways. Uh, should we start off, you know, like happy feet? Should we, we, should we make everybody smile in the beginning? Let's make them smile first. Let's make them smile and then just, just tear Let's it all it. away. All right. <laughs> so, burn it all down. Yeah, burn it down at the end. So... Here's something that should make everybody happy. Uh, I think that, good Lord, there's a lot of talk about, like, oh, people's mental health and all this good stuff. I personally have never needed to do, like, therapy and all that because, partially, because I don't get anxious. I don't get upset. I don't get stressed out because I have jujitsu as a as a massive stress reliever. Like. Yeah. You have to stay in the moment when you're doing jujitsu, right? You don't have time to think, oh, man, the bills. Oh, man, the kids got to get braces. Oh, man, this chick just left me. Oh, man, blah, 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 right? Instead, you're like, oh, shit, he's trying to choke me. What am I going to do? Yeah. I got to stop this. If I, don't, if I don't protect my neck, it's going to get ugly. Or in my case for, like, Friday, if I don't protect my jaw, my, my freaking mandible is going to get dislocated. Thank you very much, Anthony. I appreciated that. My boy, he Got caught him. me in. He caught me in a mean choke, boy. He caught me. It was, a, it was a mean ass choke, and I was like, "I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna get out." But I was in the moment, and I didn't get out. It, it sucked. <laughs> jaw breaking one. <laughs> it, it almost broke my jaw. <laughs> Damn. But when I'm fighting to not get my jaw broken, I don't have time to think. Oh man, did I? Did I? freaking set that automatic bill pay for blah 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 you know (laughs) you're not thinking about yeah you deal with that shit later you deal with that later and i think a lot of people take jujitsu and they use it as their therapy they do it to make them feel good i mean how do you feel when you do jujitsu i mean i always say like if you're if you're even in the school on the mats life it can't be that bad right because think about it if you had something really traumatic going on in your life you won't be at the school Right. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? If, so just the very fact that they're there, that you're there in general, life can't be that bad. Life's probably pretty good. Right? For sure. You're healthy enough to be there. You know, your mind's in a, in a space, you know, clean enough to where you're there. I, I think it's good. It's all good if you could even make it into the school. Um, that's why I think about the guys that aren't there for a long time. There's usually what happens. It's uh, right. What think, happened? think about, oh, man, this guy got a divorce. Or maybe something, you know, something happened in his job. Right. So, so it's usually something negative. It's something so overwhelming that even jujitsu couldn't help yeah. keep it keep it curtailed. Right? So if you're in the school, man, smile. Because life sure. is good. <laughs> you're, you're doing so much better than <laughs> so many other people, other people, right? And, and having this outlet, it really makes a difference, man. Like, 
think about just the, all the jokers that we have at our school, right? When do you ever not see them smile? Everybody's in a great mood, huh? Dude, they show up. You're right. They beat each other up. Like, take James, for example, right? Big James? You know, Big James. Big, yeah, yeah, man. Freaking, you know, he comes in, happiest freaking guy, and it's infectious, man. Like, he yeah. shows up. And he's, like, in a good he's mood. He's always in a great mood. And that puts everybody else in a good mood. And you want to talk about mental health? Like, this Yeah, he's solid. This makes everyone better, man. It's, it's like because James looks like a mean dude. Oh, right? he looks He looks like a killer. My God. But he's dude. always smiling. He's the nicest guy. Yeah, dude. I'm like, Shout out to he James. He looks like the guy you don't want to look at him while he's yeah, riding yeah. on his motorcycle. If you're driving by with the family and you look off to the side... <laughs> You're like, oh shit! You turn your eyes yeah. back. <laughs> you turn your eyes back real quick. Yeah, yeah. You're like, I hope he didn't see me. I hope he didn't see me. But really, if he sees you, he'd be like, hey, what's up? Yeah, you know, he's, yeah. he's the happiest guy, man. And and let's be realistic. He, he's, he's a grown ass man. He's a human being. Yeah. He's got bills. He's got fail. He's got. He has as many stressors as anyone else. Exactly. But he takes this and he makes it a point to be upbeat. Exactly. This keeps him smiling. It keeps him going. When he's injured, he still shows back. Yep. We're going to talk about that later, too. But I feel the same way. Like, you, you said it, man. A, a bad day on the mat is better than just sitting around on your couch. Exactly. It's like you get up, you do something, right? It's it's awesome. I mean, what, how do you feel when you don't go to jujitsu? jitsu just feel lazy. Right or, you feel or like maybe you missed out on you missed out. Like, yeah, so that, was that FOMO? Yeah, fear of missing out. Right, you're like, damn, I wonder what everybody else was doing when I wasn't there. Exactly. You're like, you're <laughs> like, do you think? I wonder if they were thinking about me. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen anybody in really like a pissed off mood at jujitsu? I mean, I'm sure there is, but it's it's very rare though. Like, no. Like think of a guy just walking around all sullen and Never. sulking, and I, I don't I can't think. I well, have. okay. Have you? Yes. I was in a bad mood once and I left. I'm like, I'm in a bad mood. I'm not going to roll, dude. I was pissed off. I don't know why, but I was in a horrible mood. I'm like, you know what, man? I'm leaving, dude. I'm not going to spread this around. I'm not going to drag everybody out. Yeah, I'm out of here, dude. I'm definitely not going to roll like that. So, like, I'll see you guys next week, man. Agreed. Now, are there probably some psychos out there who go, I'm in a shitty mood and I'm going to fuck everybody else's day up, too? Of course, but they're outliers, right? They're outliers, there's, yeah. There's they're... every kind of knucklehead exists. But that personality type, too, we would probably see Ooh. that. Those guys wouldn't last in the school. They would not last. Yeah. They would not last because we're like, Ugh. Gus is on that. Yeah, he'll kick you out. Yeah. And, and more power to him for that. Because oh, yeah. If you're, if you're bringing down the, the atmosphere, if you're making everybody feel like shit, or if it's like nobody wants to roll with you because it's like, oh, he just looks pissed. Or, yeah. or he's, he, he, he's so sullen. He tries to hurt you, you know. Yeah, you gotta let him go. Yeah. So now we're not saying you have to be, you know, running around smiling all the time. We're not saying that. But you I know. am. Fuck that. You should <laughs> smile. Why aren't you no, smiling? But, I know, but some guys are just stoic. You know, like there's a p- few people that are just okay. like that's their personality, and, and that's yes. there's nothing wrong with that. You know. All right. Fair enough. But I, but those same people are are cool to roll with. They're not trying to maul you or anything. You know what I mean? They're still yeah. like you can tell they're nice. They're just stoic. That's just the way they all are. All right. I can be stoic when I have to be. Sometimes I, I I can turn it on and off. I don't want to mistake stoicism for being angry, angry or sullen. Right? Yeah. Nah, you're not angry. You're not angry just because you don't smile. Yeah. I get that. I totally get that. But smile, man. <laughs> smile. I like to smile, but uh, yeah, smile, dude. It's freaking awesome but to smile sometimes. It, it's easier to smile. Isn't it? They say it's easier yes. to smile than frown. It takes yes, more muscles. it takes more. So unless you're like on a fucking workout regimen where you're trying to make your face tight or some yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, all right. Then you got to fucking you got to have a screw face on twenty four seven because you're trying to build up your jaw muscle. Fine. It is easier to smile, huh? It is because, like, uh, yeah, dude. It's just, it's. I'm not. I don't know. I'm just never really that upset. I'm never really that upset, and I I really attribute a lot of that to jujitsu. Yeah, I agree. And and so that was like one part of it, right? And the reason I'm a lot of times I'm just in a good mood is because I also feel very safe and very secure in my ability just to kind of navigate through life. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't walk around worrying. Say, ooh, I wonder if this guy's gonna beat me up, or ooh, yeah, exactly. I wonder if <laughs> I say, I wonder if I'm gonna get jumped in the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> if so, bad on you, you know. But you know that's that's a good point because I think if you think about it, look, the main reason I would say ninety percent of people join is for self defense. They want to learn how to defend themselves, right? Absolutely. And if you stick with jujitsu, I would say in the first six months. 
you pretty much accomplished that goal and you're, you're, you have a level of confidence that you didn't have. So you've achieved that goal. And then that's, that kind of manifests itself just walking around. You're totally. like, hey, I'm not scared to go down here or whatever. Or I feel confident in this situation. Even if nothing's going to happen, it's just nice knowing that if something does, you know what you do, you'll probably be okay. Yeah. And there's no guarantee. Listen, you may not be okay. Right. You might die. You might get drunk. (laughs) You know, but it's like, but you don't walk around worried. No. Right. This is just one of those things where you're like, if I get into a fight, is this fight going to be harder than the fight I just had with my buddy who just got promoted or, or, or is it going to be harder than all the blue belts who are coming after me because I got my purple belt and now they're fighting me like I freaking robbed them. Like I owe them money. Like, they fight me trying to kill me. And, you know, here's a funny thing, too. You know, a lot of people would say, well, the white belts are, they're really, because sometimes there is a truth in the matter that white belts are tough sometimes when they're just kind of, like, unpredictable, right? Because when you're doing jiu-jitsu, we're looking for very predictable moves, right, in jiu-jitsu. I'm looking for you to to knee slice. But then if you're a white belt, you're like, you can just do some spastic, crazy thing. (laughs) Right, you just plant both your feet and try to jump in the air. Yeah, I expect that, okay. So now (laughs) you have to adapt to that, right? So they're, yeah, they're, they're, it's not harder. It's more challenging. But I would say it's that's when you have a white belt that's been training for about three or four months. At least know some yeah. basic, right? They kind of know. Oh, okay, he's going to try to triangle me or whatever. But you take a day one guy who's never done anything. That same white belt, even if he's a big dude, who's like say he's two hundred and fifty pounds, right? And he's been training for six months, and now he's a little bit of a handful, right? Because he's you know he's got a little, yeah. little bit of technique. That same two hundred fifty pound guy on day one, you just maul him, dude. It would, it's it like would be really nothing. easy. It's like nothing. The, and they start. Oh, okay, Rod's gonna do the triangle again. I'm gonna watch for that. After getting tried a, a million times, right? They don't fall for it anymore. Yeah. See that? That's the thing about like brand new people. If so, okay. Damn, these are so many different subjects because I don't personally really love the idea of letting brand new people. Roll. I don't either, but I agree. But it happens, right? It happens. Different strokes for different folks. So if you happen to have one of these super spaz, never did anything, but they watched a couple of UFCs, and they're yeah. like, fuck yeah, watch this. Usually and, the younger kids, you know. Yeah, usually. And you'll notice, though, if they're not trying to punch you in your face, right? If you at least lay the ground rule, say, hey, listen, we're more or less wrestling. We're not, you know, we're not like, gonna, we're not going to gouge each other's eyes out. I don't want you to pull a knife out on me. I get that all these things can happen, but we're just going to wrestle. Yeah. And they go, okay, cool. I'm going to wrestle and do whatever the hell comes to my mind without punching you or biting you. Yeah. There's not much they can do, man. Like, all you have to do is weather the storm usually. Yeah, just They're they're like freaking out. They're spazzing. Right. You ride a bull and you tire them out. And they go, and here's how I choke you at the end. Yeah. And it's, it, it happens almost inevitably, unless they had other martial arts or super athletes. Man, they can be a handful. Some too. Are, yeah, yeah. Some people are naturally just yeah. athletic. They're just yeah. Athletic. You get yourself a freaking D one football guy. Like oh yeah, like, and he'll he'll just he'll go go go. He's like freaking barreling through you like yeah. a fucking rhino and shit. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I always try to put a little context. Like I'll show them. Okay, so if it's a street fight, typically what you'd want to do is. Ultimately, like if you got on top of me in a full mount situation, you can ground and pound and you know yes, do yes. some serious damage. So let's pretend that it's that no punches, but just try to get that position. On there me. You try go. to get me in a full mount and keep to me where down. You could, just yeah, hold me down. Get, and then boom, slap hands, go. Yep. And then at least they have something to kind of work with, right? They totally. have an objective. Totally. And then when you flip that and you go, okay, cool. Now watch this. You're big. You're strong. Just just move me off. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go to this position, or even we can wrestle first, and then you go to mount and you go. All right, I'm not gonna do anything. Just all you gotta do is just get out, just get away from me. And they're like, oh my god, they're doing everything, and they you just watch them yeah. slowly burn out. Yeah, their gas tank just boom that just goes to empty. Then the cross <sighs> from they're like, get off me, get off me. Ah, Switching the gi, over, yeah. the, over the gi is all bad. Feels like they're no gi is not as bad, but they're the smothering. Yeah. Oh, it's so crazy. <laughs> and it's fun. All right, and I'm going to say this. I'm going to admit this. I, please forgive me. I love when I get new law enforcement officers, when I get oh, yeah. cops Those who come fun. in. Holy shit, it's, it's funny. so funny, right? So I'll get a cop. He'll come in. You know, He's like, oh, yeah, I went to the academy. And I'm, you know, uh, Respect my authority, right? So, <laughs> so they're doing their shit. And they start rolling, and they're like, okay, well, I would do this, I would do it. And then I just kind of just kind of flow, flow, yeah. flow. Then I get them into position. And then it's just like, I go, all right, so how do you get out, man? 
Come on, officer, how are you getting out? Oh, oh, I just, oh, get off me. Oh, get off me. Whatever. And I'm like, stop resisting. Stop <laughs> resisting. <laughs> That's so funny. I love that. We used to do that at Hassis all the time because we get a lot of cops. We got a lot of law enforcement. And we love doing that shit. Like my boy Tommy, he's a fucking black belt. He's like a I think it was like a police captain or some shit. So I got so many cops, and they will do it too. And they'll be like, stop resisting, stop That's resisting. And they're just clowning right. these guys. Holy shit. We got a lot of cops in our school, right? Got, a lot of, a lot a lot of, uh, of COs, cops, too. COs, cops. Yeah. I think we got like some fucking some, some assassins and hitmen. We got yeah. we got all kinds of shit in here. It's crazy. A couple spies. A couple fucking spies. Hey, you know what? Speaking of which, <laughs> speaking of which, <laughs> okay. speaking of which. Yes. Okay, this is what I want to know. This is what we both want to know. Oh. Put in the comments. Just take a second to do it right now. Just put in... Like blue belt, you don't have to put a long sentence. Just put brown belt, purple belt, black belt. If you don't have a belt, then what? Zero. Uh, if you if you have no belt, what if you don't even do jujitsu but you're watching? Leather belt. You, there you go. Leather you, got, belt. you got a nice leather so, belt. <laughs> we're trying to find Sus- out suspenders. Yeah, yeah suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> we're just trying to find out like who's watching our channel. Like what are, are there blue belts, purple belts? Like what demographic is it? We're trying to find out what level of of you know jujitsu guys are there. If you're not even a, a practitioner, just throw you don't train or whatever. Right. That would be really we would really appreciate that. No shit. No. Just a solid. Dude, yeah. that would help us. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reiterate that because that sounded so good, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, please, seriously. Like, you know, plenty, story, of, plenty of people watch. Right. You don't, I mean, if you want to tell a story, oh, sure. Yeah. But just take a second. Just say, who, you know, what, what's your belt rank? Because we're trying to see, like, who the hell are we talking to? Are we talking to black belts? Yeah, are we talking to yeah, like, a bunch of belts? black belts? And they're like, we already know this shit. And I'm yeah, like, oh, yeah. shit, my bad. <laughs> like, You're yes, right. please. But please it kind of helps us tailor the content to, towards, you know. I mean, yeah, it, I, I mean we'll, the we'll. The majority of people correct. are, you know. We're going to be maybe doing more specific things, and then we'll, yeah. like, reach out to that group. Exactly. Yes, thank you for bringing that up, So Brad. let's give them a thank minute to bring that okay, up. Ahead. Yeah, do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> hit like, too. You should play the Jeopardy music behind it. <laughs> do, 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 do. So what else? This is good, right? We said, you fucking... You have no anxiety. You have no stress. Um, you're feeling good. You feel oh. confident because, you know, you'll probably survive a fight. Yeah. Oh, speaking of surviving fights, you probably also, you know, you you were chilling and you're like, oh, I started doing jujitsu. I'm six months in. I go to a family barbecue. My drunk ass uncle's acting all crazy and shit. And he's like, oh, he's like, come here, boy. I used to do I used to do kung fu back in the day. And, yeah. you know, he's fucking with you. He's like, hey, man, calm down, calm down. And he fucking... I don't know, you try to fucking karate kid snap kick you or some shit, and you take him down, and you, you choke his ass out, and you put him in the chair, and you say, all right, take, take, a, take a nap, take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> so don't, okay, don't choke your, don't choke your family members out. But we if you are at the fucking that. family reunion, and they're acting a little crazy, just, <laughs> just check them a little bit, just check them. All right, I'm sorry. What did you say? I forgot now. I didn't need to make <laughs> you forget. <laughs> no, sorry. I was going to say the obvious one. What about the obvious one? Okay, like, um, good example that kid i don't know if you know he's pretty strong the kid that joined us probably like six months ago with the dark curly hair i don't remember his name sorry man i just forgot you know when you're a white belt we don't Uh, you you don't have a soul no no soul you don't have a name or a soul yet once you get your blue belt we'll remember you but he's the 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 kid that works on the cars really nice guy he's getting really good yeah for sure dude shout out to you man whatever like in a very short amount of time yo he's getting good but anyways that kid lost like 20 pounds oh shit okay just just from doing jujitsu You'll never be the same again. Because what happened is he said, Health yeah, related. we were talking the other day, and he's like, yeah, I just started eating better because I, I noticed I lost a little bit of weight. So he's like, that kind of motivated him to start cleaning up the diet. Absolutely. And now he dropped like 20, 25 pounds. He looks so like you he's already in better shape. Jiu-jitsu just makes you a better person kinda does. overall. It kind of does. So like, even if you're like just like, you're just a piece of shit. It'll make you a better version of piece of well, no, you won't be a piece of shit anymore. Okay, you won't be a piece of shit. You won't be a piece of shit anymore. <laughs> okay. You'll be better. <laughs> You, what's the body man? He's like, I made him faster, stronger, better. Better. We can make him better than he was. We can make him better than he It'll was. It'll make you better, man. It will. It will. How can it not? Don't be a fucking scumbag. Become somebody. Do jujitsu. I mean, it's a very unique sport because it takes a lot of mental discipline. For sure. It takes a lot of, of thinking. It's like a chess game, it right? Is. Um, human chess. Human Everybody chess, says man. that, right? That's uh, very cliche. Physical, physical, <laughs> um, yep. I guess, what is the word I'm looking for? It makes just, you stronger. It just makes you stronger. Physical conditioning, right? Yeah. You have to be in shape. Uh, definitely well, helps. you don't have to be you in don't shape have to, to be in start. Shape. To, right. Yes, yeah, you don't. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you don't have to be in shape to do it, really. Not really. In you fact, don't. a lot of motherfuckers get out of shape when they, they get really right. good. They get really good because they're they like, get ah, so, they're just they get, fucking drinking their beer. That like, old oh, man yeah. jiu-jitsu. Just doing that one hand shit yep. like, like Neo in the Matrix. You get proficient. Remember, he's like blocking all this shit. He's yep. not even looking you're at right, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. But I would say like in the beginning, though, you're probably going to get 
improve your fitness because you're doing a lot. You're expending a lot of calories for right? sure. When you first, yeah, when you first and you start. want you want to kick ass, man. Yeah. You want to do like you're like yeah, watch this shit, and you want to be able to do a Baron Bolo. Yeah, you're like oh, you don't know I don't, what you don't want to be able to roll up on my own back and break my damn neck. Yeah, but then you get better. You start break falling. You start doing all this shit. You're right. Like I said, you'll never be the same again. You're going to change jujitsu. It'll change. You know jujitsu is going to morph you into something mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Your ass. You know what's funny? What's That's up? a fun thing about being a white belt when you first start is that you don't know what you're it's capable like, of. The world is yours, bro. You're, like you're like, looking and you're like just looking up into space <clears throat> and you're like. It's so big. I like, can become anything. It. Like when I first started, this was a long time ago. Like they didn't, they weren't really doing bear. I mean, I'm sure they, somebody did it, but like, they, I don't know if they did. When no, did, I was doing no damn bear and bowl. Bear and was not a, uh, bro. Okay. That was not actually. A, I take that back. Maybe right when you started, it, uh, the Meow Brothers. They were still hitting some good competitions, and and also who knows other motherfuckers down in um, Southern California. Bear and was maybe 2010. May, yeah. Really. Like All right, it was but like they weren't maybe, teaching it that much no, in schools, though. It was, so, it was, it was yeah. magic. But here's a funny thing. It was thing. magic to people. Yeah, so here's a funny thing. But as a white belt, if Gus had taught the Baron Bolo, I, I probably would have tried the Baron Bolo, right? Because sure. like, I don't know that it's not You would have done whatever the hell he me. tells you to do. Yeah, you just try it. You try all these things. Yep. You don't know. You're, like, you're kind of a, a clean slate. So Absolutely. all this stuff is like, it's like a smorgasbord. You don't know. You want to take a little sample of everything. That's the cool part about, I don't know why I do that. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, it's just. First start. Is well, kind of because when you first start, like I said, when you when you take off your leather belt. Yeah. Or your suspenders. Belt on. And you put on that white belt. You're like, holy shit. You train. What did I just do? It's like, it's like well, damn, another you matrix thing. It's like you, another matrix I know jujitsu. You, know you, know, you don't know shit, but you, you know, you're getting downloaded in with the shit. Well, check up? it out. When, like you said, you maybe that resonated. When you put that white belt on, you're automatically outrake a guy that doesn't train at all. So <laughs> oh, that, even damn, that white yeah. belt feels good because you're like, dude, I, I got took a, belt. a step. I got a belt. I, I, I am did training you're now. You're training. So even a white belt, shout out to a brand new yeah. white belt, man. 100%. You're, you're better off than a guy not training. 100%. It's crazy. You, huh? You've done something that most people will never do. Yep. You've taken steps. And you know what? Like I said, even that, it changes you forever because you can go, <sighs> hey, man, let, let's say you come in, you've trained six months, you've got a little self-defense, and then you never do it again, right? You've still been changed. Oh, yeah. Because, you, you know, you come up, you go, I was sitting on the couch, uh, my buddy trains, my brother trains, my cousin trains, whatever. I saw the UFC, whatever. I went to the local fucking, you know, the little shopping center where there was a jujitsu guy. And I said, I I'd like to try it. You've just done more than what most people on earth will ever do. Yep. And then you go out there and you go, oh, shit. Oh, this is uncomfortable. Ah, you know what? Ah, they bet me in the fucking funny position. You still, you've taken steps. You've changed. You... You start to see what you can and cannot handle. You start to see like, okay, this is this this is how I deal with being uncomfortable. I've gotten comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. And that's huge, man. That changes you. It does. That makes you better, in my opinion. It means you're not going to just fucking fold. You're just not going to crumble when you get a little bit of pressure put on. Yeah, you. It, yeah. it builds toughness, right? I remember, so this is back in, like, 2010. Like, was it 2010, 2011? I don't remember. But anyways, like, I was a white belt. <clears throat> I think I've been training for about maybe a year or so. And this is back in the old system to where, like, once you got blue belt, you were there. You had made Facts. it. Because that's all we had was pretty yeah. much white belts and blue. Maybe had a couple of purple belts. But um, it would take a long time to get a blue belt back then, right? Right. Years. So anyway, I remember I was at, a, I was at this corporate event. And everybody was, like, asked to, like, let's go around the room. And everybody tell us something about yourself that, Ooh. you know, that you don't know. And I remember one lady, the lady that was a presenter, she's like, okay, so I'm actually really a uh, a brown belt, or maybe it was a red or something, red belt in, in karate or something. Okay. One of the martial arts. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and I was like, I was all excited. I'm like, oh, I'm, I do jujitsu. And like, oh, what belt do you? I'm like, oh, I'm a white belt. I'm, I'm like, but you know, it doesn't matter. I was all excited about it. I'm like, because like in jujitsu, it's proud not like, of that shit. I kind of insulted her, not really. Like, it's not like karate, like it's jujitsu. Uh, like you, you did it, you did it instinctively. I did it react, like, Yeah, but it. it's not like karate. Like, we don't really care about the belts. Like, like a white belt is just, it's just, it just another jujitsu guy. You're just a practitioner that just happens to be what you are. Right. You could be years at that belt. Yep. So I probably, I don't know if I fed her. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but it's okay. 
She probably had some belt that she got when she was a kid, you know. Maybe, I mean? More than likely. And, yes. So and, and, and that's the other thing, right? It's it's a very different freaking path. It's a different path, it's a man. Very different path. But I was man. so excited about it. I was so proud of having that white belt. I was so proud and it wasn't the belt, it was just the fact that I did jujitsu. I'm doing it. I don't even care what it was. It was Fuck just yeah. I'm doing it, man. I'm doing it and it makes me feel good and it yeah. makes me feel proud. And it, you know, and listen, and I had a little technique. I, I've been training for at least a year. Absolutely. See, and that, dude, that's after I had armbarred that guy in the in the bar. Oh, in the, in the, so, yeah, oh, I, in the bar. Oh yeah, shit. The, okay, yes. The marine dude. That was after that. Lot. Oh no, the part that was purple belt. Oh shit. No, yeah. the white belt. I armbarred the guy. The marine. Oh, the marine dude. dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, and, and here's the thing with that, right? There's nothing wrong with being proud about that, right? Because when they say pride cometh before the fall, like yeah. I get it, but that's a Proverbs. different. That's a yeah, you know, that's a, <laughs> that's a different type of thing. That's right? different. We're not yeah. talking. We're we're just saying not a haughty proud like. Right. I have a sense of accomplishment. Like yeah. I I'm doing this, and I'm actually feeling good because. Maybe it's something I was scared of. Maybe something I had this little thing. I was like, ah, should I really try? It? And then when you do, and you're overcoming that fear, that's huge, man. Yes. It, it's courage. It's a it's a level of courage that should be appreciated. Yes, you should you should be happy stepping off off your freaking couch and going to a gym because you're like, yo. I'm doing I'm it. Doing this shit, right? And that's <clears throat> awesome. So, what we say? You'll never be the same again. So that's a good. So there's some good things. That's a lot of it. good, though. That's a, a lot of good. A lot of good. But I'll also tell you, you'll never be the same again. I am not the same, dude. My <laughs> my fraternity, my fraternity has like this one old song. It's crazy. It's like, oh, I know I've been changed. <laughs> I know I've been changed. I've been That's changed. Like old slave Dude, it's song like an old so slave song, right? <laughs> but listen, I've been changed by my frat. I've been changed by so many different things. I will tell you, jujitsu has changed me in a good way. But let me tell you the bad ways jujitsu has changed. Let's me. talk about this. I am physically kind of wrecked. <laughs> So, and that's just me, right? Because other nope. people, other people will do jujitsu twenty plus years, and they're like, "Fuck yeah, dude! I'm like in the greatest shape." That's, that's rare. Those are though. outliers. That's outlier, yeah. Because Those you've been training outliers. for a long time. You so got, I got like 20, 23 years, and I don't think I've woken up in the last twenty years and actually said. I feel great. Really? You know, I'm like I'm not Tony the Tiger in this bitch. Something hurts, something's tweaked. Yeah. But I was changing. Think about it. But I'm training three, four, five, six, eight times a week. You can't train that often and not get hurt. And not get no hurt. Way. Yeah, just the and odds. And not are. have something like every finger has been probably fractured or bent weird. We get nodules. Do you have the nodules? Not that bad. You know why though? You don't. This you know why though? Because you don't do a lot of grip. I don't you don't do, do I like don't spider do last on that. Yeah. You do like no gi. Yes, I, I fight yeah, gi and no gi. I do cupped hands. I yeah. do C clamp. You don't rely on the because gi I don't for want because because my fingers have been fucked up, dude. Yeah, I got the nodules because we did a lot of right. gi. You know, when we first started, it was all gi pretty much. My fingers have been so fucked up. I probably have early onset arthritis and shit I like that. I think everybody that. does. In and that's what I'm saying. And their like, fingers at least. You're probably going to have some, you're going to have to get some Tiger Balm or some, um, <laughs> the shit my like grandma, some Vicks or oh, some, yeah. or some, um, what's that other shit they put on there? Icy Hot. You Icy gotta, Hot. Yeah, you got, you're going to have to put Start that smell shit like on. smell like an old man. You're going to smell like a fucking old man. Is that why old men smell? Even you ladies, you're going to smell like a fucking old man, right? <laughs> it's, it is what it is. Is that why those old men smell? Because they have, because they have they to put those creams. Work. Because they were fucking lifting truck tires. Like no, but the reason they smell is the creams yeah, they put on, right? I'm going to give you an example. My grandfather worked for Pennsylvania Truck Lines. He used to fucking move big-ass diesel ben Gay. tires. Ben Gay. Ben that's Gay. That's what <laughs> Ben fucking yeah. Gay. Ben Gay. Yes. That's it. Ben Gay. That was before Icy Hot. Yeah. And he did. He used to smell like Ben Gay all the time. That's because a weird Because he worked smell. with his fucking hands. He was a mechanic. He did all this shit. And his shit was all gnarled up. And you got to like, oh, I got to rub this shit on. And, and I do remember that. Every time, it was like, oh, hey, what's up, Pop Pop? And I'm like, damn. Pop a steak. I'm like, this motherfucker smell like, <laughs> smell like some menthol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got a real pungent smell. But, but you're you know right. What? You are right, though, about that. But 
I I know I've had my fair share. I, I started buying Tiger Balm and rubbing it. When I was in the academy, it's I, all a version of Bengay. It's all it's all Bengay. They throw a little sugar. It's in. all Bengay. <laughs> I had oh damn! I don't even want to say this because this is I said it before. People were like, oh fuck this jujitsu shit. So I had broken my neck, um, and I was I was trying to heal up. And then I got the call that said, hey, you've been accepted to the academy. Come on, let's fucking make you oh, a yeah. fucking a cap. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm going through all the fucking shit. I was going to a chiropractor. I was doing all kinds of stuff. I was doing, like, neck decompression. And it all came because I got hurt. I got hurt, man. Like, But I got hurt because my ego got in the way. I got caught in a legitimate fucking neck crank. And I'm like, fuck this. Watch me get out. By a cop. By a fucking cop. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, stop saying, resisting. Stop resisting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to break your neck. <laughs> Shout out to Brandon. Brandon. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, he caught me in a Kesakatami, and he's pulling my head up. And I'm like, man, are you a black belt? So am I. Watch this shit. I'm getting out. Crack, crack, crack. And I'm like, oh, shit. Tap. I'm crippled. <laughs> so, so I had one of those guys, like, like you miss him. But if he shows it, I'm like, damn, Brandon. I'm like, damn, it, Brandon, I'm fight dang. with this motherfucker. He's tough, man. He is. So I'm all fucked up, and I'm like, cool, I'm healing up. And they're like, hey, come on, man. It's time for the academy. And I'm like, ooh, I got to heal as much as I can. Yeah. I remember when I was in the academy, I'm running. If I was When I was going around the track, I couldn't turn my head. I, I had to just turn my whole body to move. <laughs> I was fucked up. I've been changed. Um, See Brandon be running. On your left. Yeah, on my left. I'm like, I can't <laughs> turn. I got to <laughs> fucking run sideways and shit. And, and and these things happen too, right? So this is this is the downside. Yeah. This is the downside because I've also had my knee pretty much blown out, right? But is your knee good now though? Like how is I it? I don't right know, man. I, I need so there was this there's a move where you kind of roll up and you can like posture like up, a stand and base, stand and base type type <clears throat> move on on my right side, no problem. On my left side, it's like it's dead. Right, everything works. I can walk. I can jump. I can freaking stand on one foot. I can do yoga. I can do all that shit. But, but this one particular motion, it's like my leg doesn't do it anymore. Yeah, is it like really critical that with that? that no, move? it's not a critical move at all. And it, which, thank God, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's just, it's just some basic shit that I can't do on this side anymore, and I've adapted to it. Like I said, I've been changed. Right? I don't even think about it. I don't yeah, just care kind of accept about it. it. Yeah, I don't care about it because I just don't do it on that side anymore okay see for me it's weird like i've, I've blown both knees out bro multiple times i've popped ligaments and both knees at least three or four times both sides i never had surgery they're they're healed up man they're really strong right now they're great but i don't feel any pain or anything they're they seem perfect right now but and, and they are they well, probably so are perfect but the thing is like, like up here i'm still scared man like i'm afraid to like some that's why i don't i don't do like a lot of heavy aggressive knee cuts and stuff right Man, they catch you at the last second. Yeah. They quarter guard. Ah, pop. Dude, this is <laughs> or, why I don't do they, De La Hiva. Or somebody locks, locks you down. Like, yeah, I'm not playing lockdown, dude. I'm just going to back out of it. Like, you do De La Hiva, which I think is bold. No, I don't fuck. do I don't do Wait, it. You don't do it anymore? No, Who, I don't do De La Hiva. Who's more De La Hiva? Oh, not Gus, me, dude. Gus does it. Yeah. Gus does it, yeah. yeah. I don't do oh, De La Hiva yes. because when I wrapped my knee. Yeah, it's hard on it. Kenny Brock, right? The, 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 the Marine sniper I talked about before. We were working De La Hiva. He kind of dipped in. That my fucking knee did some oh, funny yeah. I wonder if that's how my shit got fucked up. My knee fucking did some funny shit. And I was like, fuck that. I'm not doing that shit anymore. I don't do De La Hiva because just the, the way it was all hooked in there. It's Yeah, it's hard on the knee. I didn't like yeah, it, Yeah, that's man. why I don't I do didn't it. Like I, it. I'm not really built for a De La Hiva. I think guys have really long legs. Or, like Captain Dan, he could fucking De La Hiva the shit. Yeah, or like, like uh, yeah. yeah, he definitely can. Yeah, yeah or like in our school, good. Ben. Oh, man. Yes, he's boy. really good at Del Hiva. He's, yeah, he's built right. for it. He's built for it. But to me, what? like, I'm not short. I'm I'm like semi tall and stocky, right? Yeah. But depends on how your body's built. Like, yeah, if you have like a short I'm torso, long legs, or a long shit, torso, dude. it depends. I got some fucking, I got some medium, like, medium sexy ass. It's legs. those guys with the long, they, they, long, they like those thin long. legs, they'll triangle the crap out of you. Those yeah, guys, they're they're good at Del Hiva, man. I got like, I got deadlift legs. Man, I'm telling you, man, you got to watch those guys. Like, like, Slimming down, my legs got skinnier, 
Bro, I'm slapping triangles on fools left ah, and right. Shit. Dude, I'm telling you, it's actually better. It's weird, man. It's so much better having skinny legs. Handle your legs. business. Handle your Bro, business. Bro, like, even I, I think Gordon Ryan said that if you get your legs all big tree trunk legs, it's not good for jujitsu. Bad for triangles. Yeah, same with like big buff arms. Right. Great really for not... takedowns. Great for for blast doubles. Yes. Oh like, yeah, you got that boy, power. You hit that blast double, you lift a motherfucker, take yeah, it. Yeah. What I say from the penthouse to the fucking basement. Yeah. You can dump them. But you're right. If you yeah. if you need to be all like ballerina ish, it kind of helps me. Big ass thighs don't help. It doesn't help, man. Not at all. Not at all. Or even but trying to get the rear naked choke and think of some big guns. Correct. Like when you get those skinny you, arms, you leave you space. S- yeah. Now, but at the same time, you just crunch his fucking face. That's true. <laughs> so that's there's, a trouble there's, to me. Yeah, and then there's like there's the there's the ebb and flow, the fucking yin and the yang. Yeah. Um. So all right. So we've got. Plenty of injuries, right? And that's a terrible, terrible thing. And but, it's a part of jujitsu, unfortunately. But you know, though, it's a part of life because look at you know the the one thing. So I don't really have any injuries. I'm pretty good, except the one injury I always hear you guys always hear me talk about is my shoulder. Yes, it's it's really this shoulder right okay. here. My left shoulder is jacked. Okay, okay, okay. I'm like like like. What are you talking about? I'm a GI Joe Dow, and yes. the one shoulder is good. And the other shoulder it, it like barely this. moves. Right? <laughs> like what's wrong with this little doll, dude? This little arm is frozen. Right? But then I said though. But you still got the fucking kung fu grip. I still got the kung fu grip. You got on the it. kung still fu works. grip, right? So it's like, yeah, you've been changed. That's that's the whole point, right? But I'll that keep was weights, this. though. That was weights. I think that did that. You got strong again. So no, I don't think I don't think jujitsu did the. Well, shoulder. you were saying you were strong to begin with. I think weight training caused it. Fuck your shit up. I think so, dude. I watched you fucking fuck your shit up at on at, at that promotion. No, that fixed it. Get the fuck Swear out of God, here, dude. Rod. Seriously, you did a both, fucking dive roll. Bro, and both shoulders were bad like that, right? So both shoulders were frozen, and I did that that diver, and I landed on my shoulder, crunch, and it tore my AC. It separated the AC. <sighs> when I went to the doctor, he goes, yeah, he goes, the bad news is you separated your AC. He goes, the good news is it'll heal on its own. It's going to take about three months. He goes, and this shoulder is going to be back to normal. So, so you know what? That you doctor got, was right. You got hurt. But it did do it damaged you. Look at but you re right. So you can reach behind your back. I've where, gone on the, almost all, you could. way. I couldn't even okay. do that before. This shoulder, I could be like. I hope I never get arrested because I don't even know how. <laughs> like it, I'm struggling to do this. You gotta, this hurts right you now. You got to tell them to use two handcuffs. Or you got to tell them the to front. use two cuffs. No, I don't never, know why I'd get. Nah, you'll never cuff you. You don't cuff people in the front. I don't know why I'd get arrested, but at any rate, yeah, that that injury actually fixed the shoulder. That's the, that's what really? the doctor said it would happen. That's wild. This one, I think. I got it from lifting weights incorrectly all these okay. years. Okay. All right. Well, so, and, but maybe so jujitsu hurt it too, though. I'm no, sure it no, didn't no, help. No. Fair, fair enough. Look, if not, if not the shoulders, you still got the fingers. You still got. Still got the fingers. Got, I know I've got ankles. I, I wouldn't say head, shoulders, knees, and I, toes. I, I think what it's for me is that all these injuries from jujitsu, I'm just not as durable as I was. So Agreed. Let's say on a scale of one to ten, I was I was really tough. Let's say I was an eight. Now I'm probably a durable durability is a six. So wait, so okay, <laughs> I would argue that's not the way the math will work on that. Now hear mm-hmm. me out. Okay. I would say your durability pre jujitsu would be at that, you know one to ten, but here at this level. Post jujitsu, your one to ten level is way higher. So you're all, like, yeah, you might be a six or an eight as a jujitsu guy, uh, but but you're so much harder up here oh, than here. You know, you're 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 a soft shell crab here, one to ten. Here, your fucking shell is already uh, overall, developed. overall, and and a oh, and a saying. fucking hard shell crab jujitsu at a six oh, yeah. is better than most motherfuckers at a ten. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You know what I mean, like. I believe truly I am not 100%. I'll never be 100% again, right? No, definitely not. But yeah. my 100%, but my my scale has moved so fucking much higher that when I was 18, 19, 20, my scale was here. I was a bad motherfucker, right? I think I'm a much badder motherfucker now. Even though I'm older, yeah, I can't run a fucking you know, I can't run f- five miles in the morning and do all that shit. I could do that. But if you just talk about my overall toughness, I'm way tougher now. I'm way tougher now. We're tougher now, but I don't know if the body is, though. Like, like, like I if did, I got dumped really hard, like, it might hurt my shoulder. Whereas I'm older now. But, heal, okay. but, like, if I was 25, it wouldn't even hurt. I'd just jump right back. Right. Like, would okay. this have even okay. happened if I was 25? So, the AC separation? Okay, fair enough. It probably wouldn't happen, I don't think. It, you probably, you're right. So yeah. maybe that. So maybe your durability, your flexibility, your, your, 
your pliability. Pliability was might better be a good then. one. Yeah. Right. If you hit a wall at 18 versus hit a wall at 50, you're right. If you smash into it, 50, 50. 50 you shatter. I'm 60, dude. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> 50, <laughs> I was that, good, dude. At that age, you might shatter, whereas at the younger age, you might bounce back off, right? Yeah. But I'm just speaking overall toughness. I think you're probably tougher now than oh, you yeah, were. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, you could take damage differently, but overall, you would never let that damage occur. Exactly, exactly. Like, the damage wouldn't occur because you're better, you're yeah. stronger, you're yeah. tougher. Damn. Yeah. I know I've been changed. And I mean, so it's so how does, that, how does that affect you? So, basically, for me, it doesn't mean it's the end of the world. For me, it's like, man, if I when I roll, I just protect this shoulder. That's it. I just protect it, man. So I do. I make adaptations. Yeah, I don't let I people, go. I don't leave it. I don't I, leave it out there. I don't fight to this side. I fight to this side. Yeah. I don't do. This is why I was, you know, look. Hot take. I don't believe that you need to train both sides equally. Yeah, I agree. Because with that. yeah, my one side, my knee is fucked up over here on this side. It's fine mm-hmm. over on this side. So why would I try to train both exactly. of them the same way? I'm gonna train my good knee to do some good shit. And my bad knee to avoid getting fucked up, so I can get to get my to good, good knee. side. Yeah, right. If 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 this arm, well, I'll tell you which is it. This arm was wrecked. This arm got better until I broke my neck, and then this arm was trash. But so now now they're kind of equal. They're they're equally shitty. Yeah, right. They're equally shitty. Shoulder injuries are rough. I know. Man. But but when this one had gotten blown out, I was killing them on this side. Right, I remember Hassett. He fucking blew his knee out, and he had a fucking cast on. I think I might have mentioned this before. He had a cast on. His leg was straight. It was just he could, but he still fought. And he said, "You know what happened?" I was like, "What?" He's like, "My left hook, my left butterfly hook, became fucking amazing." He's like, and then when the leg healed, I was still so good with this left butterfly hook. That I didn't even really think about. It. I was still, That's I was true. still hitting. Yeah. I was hitting sweeps, yeah. one-legged sweeps, and like, yeah, man, you've been changed. Yeah, you've been changed. And there's a lot of little changes that make you a different person. Like for you, if you got the knee thing, so now you have to adapt to the knee. Now you got a shoulder. Now you got to adapt to the shoulder. Now the other shoulder. Now the neck. Before you know it, your game is just different. It's a completely different. You're version a new of you. person. Yeah. But you know what? <clears throat> but that new person is who you are at Purple Belt. Yes. And then some other shit changes. And this new person is who you are at Brown Belt. Yeah. And you got You're still learning new shit. stuff, too. Yes. It's all tied together. Yeah, it's kind of all relative, huh? Right. The body you have at White Belt will most likely not be the body you have at Black Belt. Yeah, I'd agree with that 100%. Right? Especially if you're young. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, unless you get Black Belt quickly. Them Rotolos and all them shit. I mean, the body they have at fucking Black Belt. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a well, great Well, they started one. young, too, though. Yeah, like, they were little <clears throat> kids, dude. Yeah. Like, that's awesome. That's the, yeah. That's awesome. But let's talk about the hobbyists. Because yeah. that's who, that's who, that's, we, we, mainly we're talking to hobbyists. And they started in their late 20s, mid to late 20s, or 30s, right? That's, that's the range, I think. And the body you have as a white belt. It's probably not the body you have 10 years later when you strap on your fucking black strap and you're like, yeah, watch this. As you fucking, you walk into your fucking cane (laughs) because you're fucking fucked up. Yeah. But you're so much better, right? You're like, yeah, you know, my back hurts a little bit. I maybe, maybe my toes bent in a weird direction now. But you're dangerous, man. Yeah. You're a bad, bad, bad man, right? You're like bad man. Bad man. (laughs) Muhammad Ali. Ali. (laughs) Yeah, it it happens, right? You're not going to be the same. Jiu-jitsu is going to change you. Um, Are there other ways jiu-jitsu changes you? For sure. For sure. Maybe it changes temperament. Maybe it changes, you know. I think it'll definitely change your temperament. Yeah, right. I think so. It changes your your outlook on life. Maybe it changes your whole philosophy on life. I wouldn't mind if you guys actually say, you know, tell me how jujitsu changed you if it has. You know, if you've been doing this long enough, and you go, oh man, you know, I used to be X Y Z, but now I'm like this, right? And and I will say this, people 
appreciate when you guys write this stuff in because then they'll read it and you see like they'll yeah. they'll they'll respond about oh shit yeah you're right this that and the other thing yeah man I like this feels like a, a conversation where we were just kind of like talking to the people on this one for real right and I'm oh, yeah. like I, I I hope that they appreciate where I'm where I'm coming from on this well, because I'm, it does it changes you I don't and I I, I would never ever. I don't know. I would never suggest to anybody that they not try jujitsu. Hundred percent. Like try that shit. We had somebody. She showed up. She was waiting for one of the guys, and and I was like, "Are you here like to observe a class, or are you here?" Just, she, no, I'm just waiting for X Y Z. I was like, "You need to get on the mat." I was like, "I was like, why haven't you tried it?" And I said, "You know what? Talk to your old man and, and see. Get get out here. Get out here. Try this shit. It, try it. It makes you a better person." I think it does. I believe that. I really believe that. Like I believe that with all my heart. Like if you don't makes do you dig deep, basically, yeah, man, you gotta dig you, deep. That's why it's a tough sport, <clears throat> right? You have to you have to take a serious look at yourself and just look look at the world around you, and you pay attention to that shit. Yeah, it makes you good. Fuck. So if you're on the fence, man, just do it. Uh, I would say just, just do a do class. It. Just do it. Go in, try it. You owe it to yourself. You do. Mm-hmm. And right? you don't yeah. want to rob yourself of an experience. It could be great. Just think, what if I went in? Okay, it's like I went in when I started. I didn't even go in thinking I want to look at it, try to. I'm like, I'm going in to sign up, period. Because I know if I go in, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to look at a class, yada, yada, yada. I'm not going to leave that school without signing up. So I went. I remember this day. I went in with this, with this Marine dude. Right. And we both walked in, and we watched the class, <clears throat> just a little bit of it, because I was waiting for Gus to get you know finished up. Yeah. And he's, he offered me a pass, like, to come in and try it out for a couple of weeks. I'm like, I'm good. You just sign me up right now. Just put right, me what, on, what put do me I need a pass roster. for? I'm ready to go. I've already made the commitment wow. up here. The rest of this is just, like, how it maps out. I have no idea how it's going to map out. Right. That's why I'm coming here. But you knew you were up in this bitch. I knew that I'm mentally I'm ready nice. to go. Let, let's do it. That's bad. And the other guy didn't do it. The Marine dude didn't do it. And he well, never came back. Right. So well, I mean, it's I, like maybe I, I he went to another school or whatever. But I, I had a similar situation, right? I said I, yeah. I showed up. I, we went four deep. I'm the only one still doing it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, what if I just turned – what if I never went that day? Or what if I – like, I'd be a different person. I would have – I wouldn't be a black belt. I wouldn't right. have trained. I wouldn't have all these experiences. It's crazy. Like, but, you know, everything – I don't know. What I say? If anything had been different, everything would be different. Yeah. If, but you what like, I, if you like where you're at, man, it had to go this way. Yeah. It had to. You're right. Because it's definitely a consuming hobby, right, at time consuming. So, like, what else would I have done with my time over this past, you know – 13 years plus right. whatever like there there would have been so in chance are there may be a chance i did nothing with it that i just sat around the house maybe yeah. I just maybe i did a little bit extra work for yep. my job maybe i just did some hobby stuff working on my car or whatever it i don't know if it would have been been as focused and productive you know going towards one singular goal right. as, as as you know it is when i had jiu-jitsu and would you would you look back on it and, and say, say oh it's God. been worthwhile yeah look at these last 10 years i worked on my car or, or i you know i did this if, if i did a million different things you wouldn't even have any one thing to really right. kind of look back on and say you know what i mean it's like a focused goal you know you know what that's like what? see here's the nerd <laughs> in me again do you remember um end game when dr strange looked at a million different oh, yeah, yeah, possible yeah. realities He's like one. And he's like, but this was the one. Yeah. If you looked at all those different realities, which reality would have fucking would have would have shook out where you didn't do jujitsu? Like it's crazy, I, huh? I I can't imagine my life without jujitsu. Without jujitsu, I can't either. I can't either. Like we wouldn't even be here doing this podcast right now. Not we at all. Want to train, but this wouldn't we wouldn't be right friends. Now. We wouldn't even know each other. That's crazy. Never would have met each other. Yeah. And look how many cool people we met coming up. You know, just doing jujitsu. Right. Like, no life will be perfect. There's no such thing as the perfect life, right? And so you got to make these choices. you got to make the choices and decide what it is you do want to spend your time doing, right? I can't imagine how jujitsu is a bad choice, provided you're doing everything else you need to do yeah. to sustain life, right? Yeah. Like, don't be a fucking bum. Don't be a don't bum. Don't be a gym rat. Right. I do jujitsu. But... Else. If you fit jujitsu into your lifestyle, it's amazing. how the fuck can you go wrong with that? We know people who've met their significant others. We know people who've, who've like really just become so much better in life because of it. Hell, 
Think about all the different people that you meet in jujitsu. How many connections oh, you God. meet, right? You might be so like this brand new guy going, hey, man, I want to do something in life, blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Just happens to be I got a guy who runs a company, a guy who's a freaking a lawyer, who's a doctor, who's a senator, yeah. who's this, who's that. And they're like, you're choking them. You yeah. slapping a rear naked choke on a guy who may be like yeah. the, the, the on-ramp to a better life for you. And I'm not even saying like you have to do jujitsu to get a black belt. I'm just saying just yeah. fit it into your lifestyle. Like if you because there's guys that have been training for years or maybe they're blue belts. Maybe yep. they just take a break or whatever and then they come back and they train. It's you very always common. hear about it, right? I'm yeah. a fifteen year white yeah, belt. It doesn't blue matter. belt. Whatever. There's, they're still training though. So That's it's really crazy, not man. it's not the necessarily <laughs> getting a black belt. Not everybody's gonna, you know, commit to all that. It's a little bit of work for sure. It is. It's you really have just to focus. It's, it's time it's, and it's consistency. Kind of focus, yeah. yeah, it's consistency. Time, consistency and focus. Yeah. We'll get you the black belt. Yeah, and not everybody. Sometimes life doesn't afford those opportunities for everybody. Sometimes 100%. life throws you a curveball and you can't. But 100%. those people still typically tend to come back, and it's part of their life. Because they like, love look it. at yeah, yeah. You you'll know? disappear for a year, two years, and you come back. And go. I should have never left you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was talking to uh, Giuseppe. Shout out to Giuseppe. He was. He, I think he started in late '90s. He started a long time ago. He got. I think he got up to. Might have got up to blue, but I don't know. But he ended up leaving for a long time. You know, life took him in a different direction. Right. We both worked for the same company yeah, a yeah. long time back in the day. And, and it's a really demanding job, you know, working six, seven days a week. So, you know, it, it pulls you away from it. But, you know, here he is now. He's a black belt. You know, he's Hell been training yeah. for a long, long time. It's part of his life. I don't see him, like, ever just stopping jujitsu. Like, Hell he'll be no. the guy that, like, hey, what happened to jujitsu? You know, and next thing you know, or what happened to you? <laughs> what happened to Yosefi? <laughs> next thing you know, you'll see him walking in the door. Oh, there he is. There you know. he is. And yeah. he's good. He's really good. Damn, yeah, he's, he's one of the smoothest roles yeah, yeah, I, I, like I ever him. have, dude. Yeah, love fighting with Giuseppe, and then I also I hate fighting with Giuseppe. <laughs> I know. Right? He's, he's nice. Like, to me. Shit. <laughs> all right, listen, we we've talked this up. We could probably go on and ramble and all kinds of stuff, but, but what's I don't the core message here? The core message is, jujitsu is going to change you, right? You'll never be the same again. And it's okay. Yeah, don't be afraid of it's things okay, that are going to change right? you. That, that's a good change. Yeah. Like, you'll probably not become an asshole. You'll probably be a better person, to be perfectly honest. right? Yeah. You'll, you'll probably go, oh, you know, I do this, I'm calmer. Yeah. I, don't, I don't get upset over dumb shit. I don't see somebody go, oh, you motherfucker, I got to come do that. Nah, you just go, eh, I'm good. I'm tired. So what am I going to go fight you for out exactly. in the street? I just got Rod jumping on me and choking me and trying to heel yeah. hook me. Yeah. And I'm freaking out because I was like, shit, I got to walk. I got to walk. Don't break yeah. my leg. <laughs> you know, so it's like you're doing that. You don't have time to be a douchebag somewhere else. Exactly. Um, yeah, man, that's it. That's that's freaking it. I mean, get out here and make this shit happen, man, because. We all do need to get changed. We all need to change for the better. Oh, actually, I'm about to let me let me not go there. I'm about what, to, what are you say? I don't know. I was about to like sound all kubaya and okay. bullshit. I don't like that. Become the best version of yourself. I don't. You, you can be the best <laughs> yeah. version of you ever. <laughs> Fuck out of here. You're morphing into Tony yeah, Robbins. I know. I know. I don't do that. I don't walking do over that, hot right? coals next. <laughs> <laughs> Just pay for my seminar. Yeah. All right, fuck all that. That's crazy that people do that, huh? The, the coals. Oh, that was, cool. like, big in the 90s, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, the hot dude. coals. Yeah, right? You fucking, yeah. Everybody's, like, playing the drums. Doo, yeah. Doo, 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 doo. yeah. Corporate people, like, businessmen <laughs> walking around hot coals. They're just drunk. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> I got third degree burns on my feet. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, the point being, get out there and, and train because you're going to be changed for the better. Most likely you'll be changed for the better, right? And you'll love that shit because it'll be important to you. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Right? <laughs> and if it's important to you, you'll find a way, and you'll find a way to be changed and be a better person. Look, dude, your family will like you better. Everybody else will like you better. Your wife will be happy because you're gone. Your wife will be happy because you're freaking <laughs> gone. Your husband will be happy because you're, like, you're cooler now. You know, you're like, oh, man, my wife will fuck you up. Like, <laughs> You'll be better, right? So if it's important to you, find a way. And if it's not, find an excuse. Be a lazy fucking bum. Don't do shit. And then we're going to talk about you. But actually, no, you know, we're not going to talk about you. You know why? Because we've been changed. 
We, we've transcended. <laughs> yeah. We're better than that now. Just get that white belt and just strap get it on. That That's white a, that belt is on. empowering. Is lose your thing. fucking suspenders. Lose yeah, your lose your belt. little Louis Vuitton leather belt. Man, I might have to rechange it because you know white belts they do have a soul. Because <laughs> you know why? Because they put that belt on, dude. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not buying the. You're not buying it. That, that's, that's too. Untrained much. people you, don't. You're have going too far. <laughs> <laughs> you're going too far. Going All right, too they don't far. have souls yet or names. All right, <laughs> tell us some shit, Rod. <laughs> okay, so definitely, definitely hit uh, hit your belt level in the comics. We want in the con- comments. Did yes, please. Comics? Comics. Yeah, comics. I love comics. Comics, you do. <laughs> uh, pretty much that's it. Hit a like. Hit a subscribe if you like it. Share the video. I think we're pretty much good. Hell yeah. On that note, we'll check you guys out next week, and we'll just try to keep these flowing. Us. Us. Hell damn yeah. That was good. That was good. (laughs) Are you ready, Rod? I'm waiting for you. I'm ready. Let's do it. Watch, ready? Oh, I must say.